Hi Taurus, this is your November 2019 love and relationship reading. And the first message card I have for you is severing ties, questioning, doubt, and confusion, and slow pace. So when I was meditating over your cards, um, I'm feeling like someone cut this relationship it could have been you, Taurus, but I'm feeling like it was your partner for some reason here. They may have um, stopped talking to you. They may have cut communication or they could have just ghosted you or walked away from the relationship. But if they did, they have questioning, doubt and confusion right behind this severing ties card. So this is telling me that maybe they're not sure they did the right thing here. Okay. If they walked away from you to be with someone else, they're questioning that situation now. Because if you look at the questioning, doubt, and confusion card, you see like all the black question marks. And then there's this red one here that's standing out to me. So they may have thought they made the right decision at first, but now they're not so sure. We also have slow pace. So, you know, I like to look at the cards when it comes to tarot. I love the artwork on them, but it also tells a story. So looking at this card, I'm just going to put it a little closer and try to put my light on it so you can see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So if you look closely, you'll see this turtle has a house on his back. And underneath that house is dead grass. Okay. The house is missing windows. And it looks dilapidated. Um, but right underneath the turtle's feet, the grass is green and pretty. Okay? So what that's telling me is that if someone walked away from you to be with someone else, it's falling apart. Okay? And the grass was not greener on the other side like they thought it would be. Which means the situation that they left you for is falling apart okay um also i feel like this house that's riding on this turtle's back is extremely heavy so the person who walked away from you whether it was you or this other person whoever walked away from the situation like they're they're burdened right now by this entire situation they don't feel like they made the right choice and they may be trying to come back into you. Now, we are in Mercury retrograde season. So don't be surprised if you get a text message or a call from an ex, um, you know, trying to come back into the picture because things did not work out, you know, with them in this other situation. Now, we also have protect and defend, destruction and disturbance, and reconciliation. So I feel like somebody is going to try to come back in. If they haven't already, I feel like for some of you, this person may have tried to come back already. They may have tried to make you think that they miss you or they just want to start the relationship over. I don't feel like they're going to let you know everything about what's going on with them because they definitely have something going on. But I feel like you're going to be in protection mode. You're going to be in defense mode because you don't trust this person anymore because of what they did. You guys could have had like an argument or, um, or some type of chaos or some type of drama that you went through. And you didn't expect this person to just walk away. You didn't expect this person to just bail on you. But I feel like they did. And also with this destruction and disturbance card, I feel like they went through something really quickly, unexpectedly with this person that they walked away to. And now they're starting to see something about the situation that they don't like so now they may be trying to come back in and reconcile with you and try to fix the situation because they're not sure about this 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 is something they're not sure about this is something that they don't like what things look like i feel like they walked away to this person hoping that they could replace you or they tried to replace you or it's like there is something they tried to to do here and they felt like you know, they could walk away from the relationship they were in with you, Taurus, and they could get better. But I'm also hearing spirits say whoever they walked away to is selfish. Um, they're self-centered. 
they may not be looking to like have like a, a 50 50 situation or um, they may want to be taken care of I'm also hearing that as well so whoever walked away in this situation they're not happy they're not happy and I feel like they miss you and not only do they miss you but this person is not you like when they were with I feel like they're noticing like they're comparing situ like this situation like they're comparing how this person is right now to how you were with them and they're feeling like they should have never walked away all right so let's just get into your reading and let's see what comes out here Taurus because you did have a jumping card which is the page of swords I'm sorry I just got to fix my light a little bit all right, so you had a jumping card here, which is the Page of Swords. So I feel like this person is watching you, okay? Some of you could have been dealing with an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. And they could be watching you on social media. They could be talking to their friends about you if you guys have friends in, in common. Or like, you know, if they still talk to like somebody in your family, they could be asking about you. But this person is inquiring about you and they're watching you because I feel like they're trying to see did you move on okay because they want to come back they don't like the situation that they're in and they're trying to figure out did you move on because they moved on but now they want to come back they want to reconcile because things aren't working out for them but i feel like they're hoping and praying that you did not move on or that they can just come back in and try to fix you know the situation with you All right, so we have the four swords. I'm sorry, just give me one minute because this light is so bright. All right, so we have the four swords here. We have the eight of cups in reverse here. This person wants to come back in. Somebody walked away from you, Taurus, or either you walked away from somebody. We have the ace of wands. It's like they want to come back in and they want to do what they should have done a long time ago, which is put some type of action and effort into this relationship but whenever you have the eight of cups in reverse this is someone who's backtracking it's like they went in search of the two of cups and they didn't find it so now they're thinking about how to come back to you some of you could be dealing with a water sign a cancer pisces or a scorpio or a fire sign aries leo sagittarius we also have the nine of swords we have the six of pentacles in reverse and we have the hangman. So this person doesn't know what to do. It's like they're thinking about this situation. And if they haven't reached out to you yet, Taurus, they will. Okay? There's fear. There's worry. There's anxiety. They're overthinking it. I feel like this person is emotionally unstable because they're thinking about what they went through. Then they're also thinking about what they put you through. And they're thinking like, how do I handle this? I'm also feeling like, you know, they may be thinking about if you're with someone else. And if you are, you know, will you let them back in and give them another chance? This person know that the relationship was one-sided and they weren't putting in any effort. And now they're in hangman status trying to figure it out. Because this is trying to look at something from a different perspective and trying to see if it's going to work for them. Yeah, they regret it. Because we have the five of cups here. We have the higher scent in reverse. And we have the three of swords. So they're regretting breaking your heart, Taurus. They know they hurt you. You're coming up in the reverse here. They know that they did not um, commit to you. And this is what you wanted. They know they disappointed you and they left you because of a third party situation. And now they're crying over these three cups that are spilled over. You know, they're wondering if they can make those two cups that's behind them work. Which is, you know, the relationship or the situation with you. I feel like with the Hierophant being in reverse also, um, even though this is your energy, Taurus, I feel like whoever this person was that you were dealing with, they did not respect the traditional rules and regulations of a relationship. I feel like this person was all over the place doing whatever they wanted to do with whoever they wanted to do it with. And they did not have any respect for this relationship. Yeah, they snuck off here. So we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Magician in reverse. Maybe you could be dealing with the Gemini. And we also have the Seven of Pentacles. So we have Earth energy here as well. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, this person snuck off to be with somebody else and it did not manifest the way they thought it would. 
And now they're looking at this situation and they're like, okay, I grew this whole situation with someone and it didn't work out. So now what do I do? They're trying to figure out like, you know, do they leave? Do they stay? Do they come back to you? Like they don't know what to do. I feel like you were offering your love and your energy to this person. And see how this person has their arms crossed? They weren't taking it. You know why they weren't taking it, Taurus? Because they were focused on a third party. And I feel like you did try. I feel like you tried for quite some time. This person was leaving you out in the cold with the five of pentacles. Yeah, they weren't offering any love to you with the page of cups in reverse. It's like you were offering love to them and you were reaching out to them, trying to get them to communicate with you or, you know, spend more time with you or just give you some attention. And they were ignoring you. They were leaving you out in the cold with this five of pentacles here. We have the two of pentacles. Some of you definitely could have been dealing with the earth sign or water sign. There's a lot of cups here and a lot of pentacles. We also have the six of cups. So they were dealing with someone from their past and they were keeping secrets about this person. Some of you could have been dealing with the Pisces. Um, with this two of pentacles here, the six of cups and the moon card, they were hiding someone from their past. They hadn't let this person go. They were still dealing with them. And I feel like this person possibly persuaded your partner to walk away and be with them. And then when they got with them, it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Not at all. Yep. The third party, three of cups in reverse. Like they let this person go or they're thinking about letting this person go because they're like, you know what? I'm just going to go back <laughs> where I was because there's a tower moment that took place here for them and someone. And the Knight of Wands is here in reverse. So a tower situation took place for your partner and the person they walked away to. They were either arguing, something fell apart. It wasn't stable. You know, and that's what happens with the tower. The tower will come in when something is not stable and it will crash and burn. And I feel like now that things have crashed and burned and fell apart, your partner is looking at all of the rubbish and the trash and the smoke and everything that fell out of this tower they're looking at it and they're like damn what did i do like i screwed up they know they screwed up they knew they took you for granted and now they want to walk away from this little union they had that they thought was going to work out we have the eight of swords yeah, this person's coming back in. They're coming back in slow, too, with the Knight of Pentacles. Because, look, they're wounded. <laughs> they're wounded. Oh, my God. I'm not laughing at you, um, at this, you know, at you guys. I'm laughing at the cards because, like, the artwork is crazy. Because this person, look at their shoe. It's like they, <laughs> they've been through something. So, whoever walked away from you, Saurus, or it's like they went through something. This person took them through something and now they want to come back. And now it, things is very heavy for them. So now they see how you feel when you were crying and pissed off and disappointed and texting them and letting them know what they did to you. They couldn't see it. They possibly, you possibly was dealing with someone who was straight ignoring you. They were like looking at your texts, leaving you on read or, you know, looking at the messages you were putting in their DMs and just not even caring. Now... They care. You know why they care? Because it happens to them, Taurus. That's why they care. Okay? And now they want to come back in with an offer. They got some nerve. People really got some nerve. Like, they will walk away from you like nothing happened. And then when they want to come back in, then they expect for you to take them back. Because I feel like this person expects for you to take them back because they know you still care and they know you still love them. But they're afraid. They're afraid to come back in. Because they know they got to put the work in. So they're feeling restricted. They're feeling stuck. They don't know which way to move. They know that they're also, you know, they're they're leaving behind a situation. So they're emotionally unstable about that situation. And then they want to come and try to make things work with you again. We have the two of swords. Yeah, they're going to keep secrets though with this high priestess. Yep. They're going to keep secrets about what they went through. Okay, because we have the five of wands here. So they went through something, definitely. Um, there was some conflict with them and, then, and another person. But I feel like they want to keep secrets with it. I mean, about it, with this high priestess being here. And they're confused. They're at a crossroads. They're very emotional, too, about the situation. 
and now they don't know what to say to you to even try to come back but i feel like they're going to try i feel like they're going to have the nerve and the audacity to try and come back and try to like you know not let you know what's going on with this situation with this high priestess with all this stuff they're hiding because they don't want you to know that that situation didn't work out taurus okay so those are the messages that i have for your love and relationship reading i just want to say thank you for coming to my channel thank you to everyone who ordered a private reading i really appreciate it like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are going through out there you can also follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cars never lie tarot and i will see you guys next month bye